Good morning traders! I hope you all had a good yesterday and you managed to make some good trades and if the trades were not that good that you managed your risk. <laughs> Today is 14th of July and let's see what the GJ is doing so far. Before going to uh, looking into GJ I want to show you that what I do to see kind of where the GJ could move. So this is a GPYX, which is um, Yen's Currency Index. Basically, it just shows us how strong um, Yen is. And as you can see, it's not strong at all. Um, so for me, I expect it to drop. And if it's dropping, that means the GJ is going to go up. So if index is dropping, GJ will go up. And as we can see in here, there's still definitely place to drop lower and uh, maybe it will react from this area in here, but we also have um, more space to go lower. So that means GJ could be bullish today. Right, so let's look at the GJ. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so definitely GJ is taken up. I also want to look at the four hours because I feel my mistake was not looking at four hours enough and I just stuck to the 15 minutes. So this, from this point, it went straight bullish. So now we are approaching also important uh, level in here. And I think that's, if this breaks, we'll definitely go higher up and then potentials even to go <clears throat> even higher. So this is the daily high. And this is the four hours, so um, yeah, I think I am bullish on the GJ today, and um, just need to see how how the GJ will react from this zone. So this is like the previous uh, previous high in here. So let's see how it's gonna move, and also it's soon London open, um, so maybe something like this could happen. Um, so we go up in here so we break take that liquidity you know like sweep this high and then we can uh, go lower this obviously this is if it's bearish and if it's respecting this but because i've seen the gpy index um just like here just showed you it is very much bearish um, so I am expecting for GJ to actually go higher. So I am expecting something like this to break, retest, and then from here go higher. Like this. I hope this makes sense. And then we fill the previous high on the higher time frames. Um, so just need to react to the market. Don't try to predict it. Just like see what what is there to react to so what i would do i would put a alert above here 164 500 yeah so that's where i put my alert on um and then i just want to keep it clean so i'm not going to do it now so i would put my alert and i would just wait what the price will do and for now just stay out don't try to take aggressive sales once the price touch here and try to sell it because it is before London open so better not to take any aggressive sales. Another thing I want to talk about also is the psychological levels which is these round numbers um, and GJ does tend to respect those numbers if it goes together with a really strong zone. So as we can see here yesterday it did respect quite a few times then at the Asia, it never went, um, never went lower. And if we, this is obviously fifteen minutes, and it, it is making higher lows. So and now there is a break. Um, for let's say this one here. So we broke, and now we can expect something more bullish. For I know for I used to trade like this. I would be just scalping in and um, taking something like this. It's for scalpers, it's like 1.75. I would try and to do 1 to 2, but maybe that's too high. But anyhow, something like this. However, 
I don't find it really easy to trade GJ with such a small stop because GJ range is really really big and it and she likes to move a lot. So, but yeah, like today I think I am more bullish than I am bearish because just because it respected this level really really nicely here and made again broke out, pulled back obviously uh, quite a bit and then yeah, I'm, I'm going to see what's going to happen in here and um, I think I'll just put this up here that we are focusing on longs. Something like this, depending how the obviously how the candles close. But yeah, for now, break, retest and then we enter. And yeah, it is one to three, so which is good. I think that's it. That's it for today. I can quickly look at the G, GU as well. Um, they used to go very well together, GU and GJ, but now they move quite differently. As you can see, it's not really the same. So uh, for the GU, I think obviously it is very bearish. Um, and that this is what I don't like. Like I see GU bearish and gj bullish and then it confuses me because they should go together but they don't <laughs> um so yeah it is a little tiny bit confusing so yeah g to you could be bullish now as well so if it's bullish then gj will be bullish as well should be could be <laughs> should be could be but yeah that's it I'm just going to leave it here and I think that's it. I'm just going to focus either on buys or the sales if I see like a rejection. But I would rather take buys today because um, yen is very weak. And this is the lowest where, where it can go. And then obviously even lower in here. So we'll see what it does today. Yeah, that's it. Right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, please make wise decisions. Um, be sensible. Risk wisely. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.